Thanks. More than three quarters of Brevard residents, Republicans, Democrats, and Independents said we had enough. And you know what? Our firefighters disagree. They don't have enough. They're, they're, they're tired of these 24-hour shifts that they work that allow them to go out and get a second job. And they're out, but they have enough time to go out there and build campaign signs and, and endorse candidates. It's absolutely ridiculous that the fact that your public safety officers are out there taking you to court. So the first thing we need to do is shut these folks down. We don't need to hold them as heroes. We need to look at them and tell, uh, tell them no, you're not getting any more of our darn money because it's coming out of our back pockets. Stop it, do your job, and when I say do your job, I mean do your first job, not your second, third, or fourth. That's what we need to do as a county. I'm running against Mr. Tobiah. I totally disagree with what he said. Um, our county firefighters are our heroes. Get in a car accident, crunched up, who's gonna come get you out of there? Or your house is burning down, who's gonna come save you? Or fall out and have a heart attack, I don't want no ENT doing CPR on I me, mean, I want a county firefighter doing CPR. Yes, they do endorse candidate, they endorse the city firefighter, endorse city candidates, and they endorse me for the county commission. Two interviews I went for. I appreciate that. I'm the only Democrat they endorsed. All of them were Republicans. 75% of the county firefighter union members are Republicans. That's okay. They endorsed me, and I'm glad for that. Look, that cap, it hurts the county commission. But the voters voted for that cap, and I believe we should honor that vote. Okay? The county firefighter sees different, they're going to challenge that law. Anybody could challenge the law. That's why we have the Supreme Court. People challenge the law. Whether you agree with them or disagree with them, that's, that's up to you. But the voters voted for a cap. We have a cap in place. I will honor it. I didn't see no emergency other than the hurricane that came through. So I don't know why the county manager you know, wanted to raise it and said it was an uh, emergency. The only emergency we had was uh, Hurricane Matthews that came through, and that didn't affect the county budget. So I say support a firefighter, su support what they do. These guys, yes, they work 24 hours in one day. So 24 plus 24, that's 48 hours they put in. They put their life on the line every single day. Vote for Randy Foster, thank you. John Zabaya, County Commission District 3, and I'd like to uh, start by thanking the, uh, the uh, uh, organizations that did not endorse me. So I'd like to take, thank the firefighters for not endorsing me, the very people that are suing you for higher taxes. I'd like to thank Business Voice for uh, not endorsing me because I'm not willing to hand out millions of dollars to Walmart, of, of your tax dollars to Walmart or Embraer or Lockheed. I, I want to thank the people that when I'm knocking on the door that say, John, we have too many taxes and I'm tired that we're uh, having to ask us for more taxes to fund our lagoon when we're handing money over to multi-billion dollar companies. So that's what I'm interested in, in doing when I, uh, if I'm elected up to the county commission. I thank you for your time, for showing up or listening.